here uh, in SoCal. I actually made it out of round one pulls at Prime Saga. Yeah. Uh, I think the best nest we have currently is uh, Lumbre. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's Lumbre. I'm thinking of the Pokemon, but uh, I'm told it's Lumbre. All right, goes for the fourth throw immediately. I mean, at this point, your objective in here is to make sure that Inkling doesn't feel safe to use all that great movement they have. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like uh, Ness is one of those characters that can actually challenge that recovery pretty reliably mm -hmm. because you can hang the yo-yo at the ledge and you have the PK Thunders to catch any drift or anything on their landing. Very non-committal to try and put damage onto Inkling compared to what Inkling has to do. Now that all of a sudden he gets in close quarter combat, he has to worry about PSI Magnet, he has to worry about Nair, he has to worry about all these air-to-air -air hitboxes trading out oh. and the ledge trap there with the off smash. That's going to close it out. That was really good because the way he said the PK Thunder was pretty much leaving for Bird and only go for one other option and then when he came back on stage you thought it was safe to come back but you never are mm -hmm. i don't think burn noticed that he actually took out psi guys's uh jumps there so he could have gone down with a runoff fair inkling can edge guard ness very efficiently too as long as the pk thunder is starting to come out already but he didn't quite take that opportunity but it doesn't matter he still got him at 138 percent and as long as he keeps playing that game he can play oh, right. oh wow good okay. absorption and good damage there unfortunately burn have the right option, right? He set up the splat bomb and he really forced out the low recovery. The problem was he did not amount for the fact that you can heal from it. And if you're gonna go out there already and come in for an option like that, you have to be aware of the fact that PK Thunder on Ness is gonna do some damage a lot like that. Mm -hmm. PSI guy already going for it. Looking like foe out here with all these PK Thunders. That's um, a three stock. Yo, he's man, looking he's really confident here today. Yo, man, he's telling, like, you can tell right now, Burr has all the P lock homies in the background. Like, he's like, hold up, man. I'm about to let you. We're about to defend SoCal. We ain't that free. We're not. Alrighty. So Texan kind of looking a little, little in shambles right now. But M Mage in shambles, dude. Whatever Mage is at right now, he's in shambles. All right, but we're still sticking it with the Inkling here. Let's see how this goes. Yo, I'm gonna out. hold it here. I want. Three, two, one. All right, let's go to the game immediately. PS like I'm not wasting any time on Bird. He really just close him up, put him in the corner, and then see what else where he can take it from there. But Bird with a solid reversal, now starting to put his game plan in a little bit into action. Something he wasn't able to do the last game was go for any of those back airs, look for some safe whiffs, any other of those other options there. But the really thing that PS like I was able to do was honestly just make sure that the ground game was all under his control. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, that's do it. exactly what I was looking for. Tough he trade. knew the jump was gone that time around, so he was going to be able to get that uh, edge guard that time. Right off throw. Up yep. there, nice. Goes for the forward air, trying to put him a little bit more to the corner. Great option there. Goes for the back air. He misses under the other option, but he nearly goes for the grab to close it out for damage. Mm -hmm. Rapid jab is going to be taking on some more damage. I mean, this frame three, very safe. Usually beats out most boxing scenarios, so very smart stuff. But also smart for PSI guy using that magnet to be able to stall his aerial momentum and make sure he doesn't land right into a roller. Gives himself a little bit more time to recollect himself. Nice. Lightning there. PK Thunder, like you said, right? He has those options to make sure that when the recoveries are made, you have the execution and just go ahead and take him out. PS like I was 76%. Going back to how it went to the last game, right, where he went for the PK Thunder to force the directional air dodge on the ledge and then close it out that way. But, I mean, this time, Burr using that roller a little bit more. Mm -hmm. He was able to go for that roller up smash and then put the PSI off the stage. Now it's Burr the one thing in the charge. Yeah. All right, Nair into forward air. I mean, already, I mean, he's just been doing a better job of being able to extend further with what he's been able to do and not let PSI guy really have the time to recollect himself and then position himself in a way where he oh. can get what he Down wants. There. Okay, nice. Oh, goes for the neutral air and he's still able to recover. Yeah. No text here today, but you know what? Burr looking like he's trying to finish the stock immediately with that paintbrush. Not quite going to be it. Just wait yeah. out the down smash. Yes, very nice stuff. And Burr looking already to amount for the fact that when PSI guy comes back on the stage, he has roller, back air, neutral air, even up air right there. He had, you even saw Burr throw a lot of options. Just to make sure when PSI is back, he has to face something. Yeah, the confidence. the Just to be able to bounce back after a three stock from PSI oh, guy. Yeah. That's very nice to come from Burr and I'm bring it back around to a game three scenario here. Yo, are we seeing uh I was like, I'm pretty sure they just stopped because yeah, I saw yeah, Burr talk yeah, to PSI guy. doing fans, I think. Yeah. Go. PSI go. All right, here we go. I mean, those were two very quick games, so we'll have to see how this last one goes down. 
Both these two very clearly showing that they are very good with their characters. Knows uh, exactly what they need to do in certain scenarios. And wow, Nair to back air into the setup for a grab immediately. Tries to catch the double jump, but you know what? That trade is going to work out beautifully for him. And he's already attacking on 58%. Forward air, nice. Going for roller, immediately going for damage. PK fire. PS like I strikes back. For, for Burr, it's really good that now he's playing a little bit more impressive against PSI guy because he saw how last game went. He let PSI again for, for like PK fires and grabs. This time Burr is the one like, okay, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive here. Go for back air and then watch your end lag on some moves and then go for roller. Mm -hmm. I like what he's doing too, even if the roller doesn't land. Oh, oh, wow, that up smash. Not quite going to do it actually yet that PK time. PK thunder. Nice. Okay, that time. Very smart. Decides to finally go for get up attack. It does have the full invincibility, so you can catch them off guard with that. He's a new neutral get up, and on the show, PSI guy is very good at catching that, but that up air is going to be able to take it out. Yeah. But well, you thought you were safe with the ledge, man. You got to watch out for Lucas. Uh, Ness is up air. Mm -hmm. we, saw P uh, we saw him get shield poked by back air from, from Burr. It would have been great if he actually landed the shield there, but. Hopefully we'll have time here with a fresh dock and only 90% on Burr. Yeah, there's one Bui Wea, and that's going to go ahead and take out the next dock. If I were a betting man, and if I were a Burr, when PSI guy goes for the uh, side magnet against the splat roller, I would amount for that and then try to get a punish immediately because there is a little bit of end lag you get from that. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to set up your, your splat roller to force your opponent to go for a low option or just force them to go for side magnet, it's best to amass for that tricycle for roller here, especially at the ledge. Back throw, that's going to put him off stage. Wow, I actually went for a high recovery, didn't even throw an up B or anything. Oh. Another opportunity, the up smash mm. on the oh. forward smash, both of them whipping right there. But he still got himself the position, and he tries to go for the up smash again, and both of these two really looking <laughs> for it. But he finally able to get one, if it doesn't take the skill though. Forward back throw, I like it. I mean, forward throw, it would have been good for the off stage, back throw was still throwing off either way. Yeah, I mean, I, he still had the ledge control yeah. afterwards, so he was able to put out that nair and take out the stock too. Mm -hmm. so. Both options were just great. Mm -hmm. All right, up throw. This is gonna be the booyah, and not gonna kill though. Because yep. like I was another chance of life landing forward or into another option. This is good percent, even with the t nice little touch of the down air. Mm -hmm. PK fire. I mean, he's, it's a good option there because he has him at the corner. He's gonna be able to go for a grab or a forward smash, and then really just put damage on the. Mm -hmm. burr. I really like the awareness from Burr where to put the roller paint because it does slow down your grounded movement, mm -hmm. and it does slow. And Ness is kind of slow on the ground to begin with, so. Using that to be able to make sure that he can't get a follow after PK fire or to just make sure that he can get out of disadvantage a little bit better. Wow, that up air was so risky, but he's actually able to pull it out there. He's got to try and take out the stock first, though. But PSI guy looking like he's going to try to finish it off here and now with that fair. Put him off stage one more time into the bat. I don't know why he pulled that out, but... <laughs> he might have been expecting him for, to go for the same re option recovery that he had. He went for side B into the directional air dodge, and I have respect it from PSI guy trying to, come, trying to get that one. Mm -hmm. Lingering hitbox of that Nair to forward air one more time. Push him off stage. He's got Can his back shot. Yeah. Oh, he falls out of it, though. Down throw. Yeah, that'll do it. At the high percent at 190 plus, <laughs> something's got to give. I like the way that he was showing his back because the way he could have set up for back air, he could have set up for an empty hop, a down smash, where you could definitely set up the yo-yo the, the to be off the stage. So he had a lot of options by showing his back to Burr. Mm-hmm. Man, that was too little too late from Burr. So PSI guy going to be able to clutch that out. I mean, especially when...